हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल रिसर्च एंड फार्मा एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ वाटर इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्रीज नाउ टुडे वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ एयर कंडीशनिंग सिस्टम इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्रीज फॉर दिस टॉपिक डिस्कशन मिस्टर सुपर हाउस विथ हस एंड ऑलरेडी राव लास्ट टाइम वी डिस्कस अबाउट रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ वाटर सो टुडे मिस्टर राव विल गिव एक्सप्लेन अस एंड गाइड अस what is the requirement of air conditioning system in pharmaceutical industries so welcome mr rao thank you mr sir namaskar friends and can you guide us like what is the specific requirement for air conditioning in pharmaceutical industry and why is it required yes in pharmaceutical industry we are manufacturing life saving drugs so the air which is circulating into the manufacturing area should be very clean and conditioned conditioning means there are specific requirements of temperature relative humidity uh, are required in the manufacturing areas accordingly we have to condition the air and we have to supply to the manufacturing areas okay so it means uh, the environment has to be developed such a way it will control the person we are working over there and control our drug also like yes of course human comfort is important if human comfort is not there people will Uh, sweat and shed some particles into the manufacturing area so it will contaminate our product so human comfort also we need to maintain ha ha okay so human com- comfort as well as our drug has to be That's safe safe with the any yes. contamination contamination yes. so uh, like the system which is complete system which is designed any specific name we can you explain what is the specific name for this system which is required to be established in pharmaceutical industry to control this air conditioning system yes there is a system called hvac heating ventilation and air conditioning especially for this room now we are deploying one equipment called air handling unit ahu okay so what i what i understand there was one system which is complete called svac system from this hvac different ahus there yes, yes. different ahus for individual rooms Uh, deployed okay so all the ahu is like it may be 10 to 12 ahu that combination of this ahu we can say as vac of course yes okay so how this ahu is work like how they control the air they take the air from atmosphere then uh, have some uh, conditioning then will they throw this all the air to inside uh, circulate air to inside the rooms of the pharmaceutical industries so how how they work basically ahu is no or recirculating type ahus we are deploying and we are taking up to 10% of fresh air to give proper oxygen and ventilation to the persons who are working in the uh, facility okay so if they are working like in uh, if you see uh, in our uh, home there are some air conditioning there we are using acs yes so the same system is a different system it's the same system but in in home no what systems we are having that is unable to take fresh air uh-huh. since okay. it's a closed room here we need to provide some fresh air and in for in industry it's in a bigger capacity so we cannot accommodate inside the room and we, we have a different grades of filtration so to accommodate those filtrations we need to have a bigger system okay so uh, like uh, in air conditions which we are using in home that using uh, some gas like of course yes and uh, in industries also we are using the gas it's some chiller system here that can be chilled like So the gas system you know is expensive it is very expensive if you use these systems in the industry it will be cost will be more so we are using water cooled cooling cells instead of gas cooled cooling cells uh-huh. okay so what i understand there was one chiller system there is water is chilling yes. that this chilled water is uh, being circulated to all the air conditioning units ha uh, okay so that is controlling the uh, like reducing the temperature temperature yes and that the provision to be increase the temperature also yes so there is a hot heating coil also available in the ahu if it is required we can heat that i mean uh, increase the temperature also okay so like we have to be take the air from the atmosphere and that air has to be uh, go to the ahu system yes. from the ahu it is circulating to different rooms mm-hmm. and then again there was some return filter it will duct it will it will take the air from return the return duct. duct it will okay. take the air from the rooms and again condition the air and it will be pumping to the manufacturer okay so you are saying there was a two one is supply system and one is return system, system. To the and, and this return system again go to ahus yes again is conditioned yes. and again through to the like is supply to the rooms the return system will be added some some amount of fresh air okay so uh, that uh, 
some amount again we have taken from atmosphere as yes. some, okay so you are saying 10% around up to maximum maximum 10%, maximum 10% we have to be take and it depends on uh, different uh, criteria like a uh, pressure what need to be maintained and okay. people how many people are working in the facility based on that it will be decided or any filter like uh, because uh, you are taking uh, this air from atmosphere yes. then you are conditioning the system and that thing supplying to the different rooms any filter is there yes. in between basically three basic levels of you know, filtrations we are applying one is called pre filter second one is fine filter and final one is tapa filter so three kinds of filters we are deploying in the uh, yeah. air, air, air distribution uh -huh. system or air distribution so system. any like pre filter like you can explain now this what is yeah, pre filter it will it it will uh, filter the coarse dust coarse dust so okay, okay bigger yes. particles bigger particles yes okay that is available in the air yeah. so then uh, next will it will go to the fine filtration it will remove the fine particles okay then finally it will go to the tapa filter uh -huh. which can remove minute particles from the air so this uh, this can be uh, remove uh, contamination also like bacterial contamination also yeah that will be taken care of the hepa filter hepa filter yes okay so in uh, oral solid is all dodges also is required hepa filter of course yes it is required. okay so finally the air will be circulate from hepa filter yes and that can be possible to be control uh, bacterial contamination also uh, that is there the outside but where we are manufacturing the life saving drug there will be no uh, microbiological contamination also available in the room yes for that only we are using hepa filters in the air distribution system air recirculation system or distribution system okay so this circulation like you are saying circulation so any specific requirement for circulation yes our motto is if you <coughs> if you circulate air more times it will be filtering more time more accurately and it will uh -huh. it will not be having any particulate concentration okay okay so more circulation means uh, it, it is going in the more ehu system and there is a continuous filtering filtration filtration will be happening and you know particle concentration will be reduced reduced okay, okay so what i understand like osd so osd uh, there will be uh, less uh, system and if you go in the stride there will uh, system uh, like uh, this uh, air circulation system will be high yes in OSD we can maintain from 6 to 20 number of air changes per hour. Okay. Uh -huh. That is an optimum uh, design. So like uh, 6 and 29 like? 20, 20. 6 20 and 20. Yes. So there any specific area where 6 has to be done and a specific area where 20 is to be there? Simple. If there is no dust we can go with the 6 air changes. If dust is more and we can go to 20 air changes. Okay. So that's depend on the yeah. outside air? Not outside. Inside uh -huh. also. For manufacturing area. Okay. Okay. In uh -huh. some operation is Dust generating. Dust generating. There we have to go for more uh, uh, ACTH to control the dust. Okay, okay. So in the manufacturing area where more dust is generated, yes. that has to be more uh, air circulation. Air circulation need okay. to be done. And uh, like uh, there is some room is there and corridor also there in the pharmaceutical industry. From this corridor we are going to the room. Yes. So any specific pressure difference to be avoid contamination? Yes. <coughs> corridor and manufacturing area are change rooms. Sir whatever it may be, that belongs to same grade of uh, classification, okay. minimum 5 Pascals need to be maintained as a pressure difference. Okay, so uh, where the manufacturing is going on in that specific room, mm -hmm. uh, their pressure is less, your pressure is high with respect to the corridor? Nowadays, no, we, are, we are going with the uh, air locks, air locks between locks. corridor and manufacturing areas. Now we are pressurizing the air lines. Air lock will be the more pressure than manufacturing and as well as corridor. Okay, so first is corridor, then air lock, then manufacturing. Then manufacturing. Yeah. So this air lock having the more pressure. More pressure. More pressure. So more pressure. So from air lock, uh, that uh, dust cannot be come from uh, your. Uh, no, no, air lock will prevent uh, dust from the manufacturing area. As well as from uh, corridor, corridor, there will not be any any dust. Okay. But it will not uh, allow from the manufacturing area. Okay, so this is a really uh, great system. So first we have to be take air from uh, atmosphere, then it has to be filter, then it has to be distributed to the room, then again air circulation, then 10% uh, replacement from the fresh air. So this is the complete system how it looks like. Yes. Any specific temperature requirement and humidity requirement? Yes, of course. Uh, from 30% of RH to 60% of RH is the uh, preferred relative humidity. And 20 degrees to 25 degrees temperature is the 
Okay, so 20 to 25 degree uh, centigrade temperature has to be maintained yes. inside. Yes. Great, great. So like, uh, okay, so now we uh, understand like how the uh, air conditioning system is working inside in the pharmaceutical industry and it, in di different room also like you told uh, if their dust is generating more then air circulation will be more. Yes. So really we got this idea. So you feel any challenges uh, in complete uh, uh, this HVAC system in current pharma industry and you want to su suggest anything? Yes. HVAC system is uh, taking 50 to 70 percent of energy of the manufacturing area. It is consuming around 50 to 70 percent of total manufacturing area power consumption. Ah, it's a, it's a very, 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 very yeah. mm -hmm. So while designing the facility, we have to optimize the room sizes and based on the process flow, we have to design the areas so that we should operate minimum air handling units to save the power. Okay, so that is very important. Like if you uh, if you not reduce the this uh, cost of the electricity like uh, power, yes. so then it will be impact your final product also. Yes. So the price also In will be higher side. Yes. So if, if we control somewhere as the price, so at least the uh, our consumer, basically there are the patient, yes. they can get the drug in the at affordable prices. That that's really very important. Uh, what you suggest uh, to our viewers, correct? Any other things? Specific? Any specific? Any specific? Yeah, uh, because uh, like you want to be shared. Already we discussed. Yes, this discuss the things. If anything is there, no, they okay. can contact us and we okay. can so, really clarify them. Yeah, yeah. So any questions uh, regarding what discussion? So I will just explain it within one minute, like how we have discussed today. So like air system is requirement for the pharmaceutical industry. Initially air we are taking from the atmosphere. There is some AHU system there. We have to be, uh, have some conditioning system of our air that can, after conditioning it will go in some filter and through filter we are circulating to the room. Then there will be some return air. Again this return air going to the AHU system. Again this conditioning is there. And when we are uh, this return air 10% we are taking from the fresh air. And how much uh, like air circulation like return what we are discussing this depend on the how much dust is creating in the specific room. So that is you told from 8 to 20? 6 to 20. 6 to 20. So the requirement is 6 to 20. Uh, really I feel uh, we understand the air requirement also, air conditioning requirement also for the pharmaceutical industries. If really you have any question and we have missed something and any question in your mind you can just put in the uh, this uh, our YouTube so comment box you can put your questions definitely will give the answer and I really appreciate uh, your effort uh, uh, Mr. Rao to support us uh, and to understand us how the air conditioning system is working in the pharmaceutical industries and I appreciate and thanks thanks to be part of our uh, this video and thanks thanks for all the Thank viewers also thank you for thanks watching. thanks for watching this video thanks.